my name is Henry Dubay and I'm a senior at North Miami Beach Junior High School and Music Stock Intern and I'm here with Miami Heat Center, Jamal McGlure. Hey Mr. McGlure. How you doing? I'm fine. Good. Um, how did you manage to manage school and basketball at the same time, especially at the transferring high schools? Uh, it was tough, but uh, I knew what I wanted out of my life. I knew that basketball was uh, my first, first joy and um, I just made it work. I went to night school, I took correspondence classes. I found a way to balance both. Before you became a pro, was there ever a time that you thought you weren't good enough? What kept you going? Uh, there was never a time that I thought I wasn't good enough. Uh, there was a lot of naysayers. There were a lot of people that always said, Jamal, you can't do this, you can't do that. I used it as motivation uh, to continue to work even harder and uh, go for my goal. We have a hip-hop star market game. How do you feel about being added to the hip-hop star market? It would be great. I would love, love it. What was the best invest investment you have made for your future and your sons? I think the best investment that I've made is just taking care of my body. We only have one body and I always say that you have to take care of your body so one day that your body takes care of you. What is one thing that Miami Heat fans do not know about you but should? One thing Miami Heat fans should know about me is that uh, I'm a relentless worker and uh, I'm always trying to ask questions, always trying to find ways to get better. Haslam has stated that you are not a father. What advice do you have for young adults aspiring to be athletes or musicians? The advice I would have to give young people as a whole is just to continue to work as hard as they can in whatever field that they do. Just because I play basketball doesn't mean uh, that what I'm saying is only directed towards basketball players. Anybody that aspires to be successful has to work extremely hard in whatever field they would like to do because uh, there's no shortcuts. Uh, and if there was shortcuts, uh, then everybody would be a basketball player or everybody would be a police officer or everybody would be a business manager. Uh, there's no shortcuts. Just work hard, uh, be genuine, and uh, never burn bridges. How important was it for you to stay at Kentucky and pass on the track? It was very important. Uh, the University of Kentucky instilled a lot of values. Uh, it was a chance for me to, to grow up into a man and to learn. Learn from experiences that if I had the same mistakes in the NBA that I made in college, uh, it wouldn't have been good. Um, in the NBA, there's no room for error, and uh, college was a way for me to learn the hard way, so to speak. I read that you majored in business. If you were not playing basketball, who would you be doing? I think I would be an entrepreneur, and, and by saying that, is having my own business, being my own boss, and um, having people work for me. I also read that you have removed some tattoos as part of changing your lifestyle. Can you elaborate, please? Yes, uh, I removed, I only had one tattoo, and um, it wasn't anything graphic or explicit. That's not the reason why I took it off. Um, I, it was simply my name, it just said Mr. McGlure. And I felt that uh, I was getting older, and I have an 11-year-old son, and I want to be able to uh, have him, oh, I wanted to be able to lead by example. And it's hard to say not to do this and not to do that if I'm doing the same thing. So as I'm getting older, I think I'm starting to learn a lot more and become more mature. And uh, hence the reason why I had my tattoo removed. How did you manage to manage school and basketball at the same time after transferring high school? Well, I had no choice, I think. Um, if you wanted to play basketball, you had to do school. You had to go to school and you had to be successful at school. Uh, I remember in high school um, having to take 10 classes in order to finish. Uh, that was my fault. Usually uh, you're only supposed to take eight, but because I wasn't serious my first three years of high school, I set myself back and I had to play catch up as a senior in high school in order to graduate on time with everybody else. So it was definitely a task managing uh, class and basketball, but uh, when your back's against the wall, uh, you'll be surprised.
summarize what you, you, you'll do. Well, thank you for this great interview. Thank you. Thank nice you for your time. It was very good.